hello guys welcome to my channel again in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to make this type of gown so something for the ladies for the first time here so let's get into it so as you can see i've already cut the gown which is a very easy way to cut it and i've cut everything in this tutorial i've already i've done a tutorial on how to cut a cuff and how to get a perfect neck and how to get a sleeve so you can just go and watch it and you get how to be able to cut a, a, a gown like this is just basically how to cut a caftan so you just instead of cutting the normal caftan you're just going to widen the body down so that to become is a a flea like so this is what we're using for the flap which is the main thing about this tutorial the flap and the collar so i've already gummed the flap one is going to be over one so this one is going to be at the top i use collar gum soft collar gum while this one is going to be at the bottom of the flap which is the inner flap i used um collar and what's it called i used gum stay so that it will be soft okay so the first thing i'll do is i'll just use this is i'll just explain to you how to form the main flap which is what i'm about to do so this is the size of your flap for my own i want my flap to be about 1.1 inch not up to one one quarter so i'm just going to fold it this way so what I folded now is just the size I want. Is this the size I'm going to get on my um, flap, All right? So I just cut out, leaving about um, three quarter inch excess like this. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to fold the excess this way. Now the way I'm going to fold it, I'm going. I'm not going to fold it to be equal with the top. I'm going to fold in such a way that it's going to pass the top a little bit. It's going to pass it up a little bit not up to one quarter but you can see just a little you should just pass it a little bit like this you can see just a little bit perfect like this so i just fold it like that and press it with my iron and i press it with my iron and there you go you can see it this is how to make a flap this is how to make a flap and because you are going to you i'm going i'm going to fix a a bishop collar or turtleneck i'm not going to do anything to the top so that's it so this is how to make the smaller one as well so to make the smaller one is actually the same thing with the big one so just go ahead and do the same thing the bottom one will be longer you can see the same thing with the smaller one. however this one is slimmer than the one at the top so i just cut it out because i don't need it to be too long you can see it. so this is it so i also cut here to be make sure it's straight so there you go so this is how to create um a flap so the next thing i'm going to do i'm just going to fix the flap and to do that i'm just going to open the middle of the front pattern by nine inches you can see it i measured it nine inches of course this can be it can be longer than nine inches it can be shorter than nine inches whatever you want is right so for me i want it to be nine inches that's why i'm cutting it to be nine inches so the bigger one is going to be at the right hand side the short the slimmer one is going to be at the left hand side as you can see that's the way it is like this right but if somebody wears it the smaller one will be at the right and the bigger one will be at the left so i'm talking based on the way it is on the screen right now so you can see this the 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 smaller top the smaller part of the small flap is going to be at the top so that by the time we open it the bigger part will be we go under like this and you can see where i folded the bottom you can see it right so this is how to set it and then you close it like this gently you do it gently you can see where i folded it to create a sort of a triangle and then you push it to the middle like this and then you turn it and then you sew so that's how to do the small one so even for kaftan a normal male kaftan this is how to do a flap you can see at the end of the day you see how the inside is neat so with this pattern i'm doing both the inside and both the outside are neat right that is the aim whenever you are sewing make sure that even the inside even though it's inside it should be neat so because it's inside it shouldn't be rough okay so that's that so we'll carry the we'll carry the other one now remember the part that exceeds the top that's the bottom that's where it's going to go down below 
okay so that's the part we are going to open it this way i'm going to open it this way remember when i was um, dividing the front into two i measured nine inches right so we're going to put that nine inches here but before then i'm going to measure one inch from the top then from that one inch i'll measure nine inches like this to this place okay then i'll just carry my um scissors now just this middle part just this middle part i'm going to make sure that i'm cutting from the middle the center i'll divide it by two the center i'm going to cut it like this you can see just that part the middle part i'm going to cut it and stop at that nine inches mark like this and i'm going to cut it slanted way like this okay then i'll fold it just like we folded the smaller part so let me just reduce this top so that it will not be too thick so i'll just fold it this way you can see how it also gives me some sort of a triangle so let me reduce it you can see so this how to do this part okay can see the way it is at the um, under this is how it is on the under so i'll do the same thing fix it to the other side okay so guys you've been driving value from my channel it's not going to cost you more just hit the subscribe button on this screen you are seeing there's a subscribe button at the bottom of this video just hit it and turn on your notification bell so that whenever i drop a channel you'll be notified and you watch it okay so please just do me the honors and favor of hitting the subscribe button guys means a lot to me so you can see the way i fixed it you can see the way i fixed it. just the way i fixed the other one make sure that it the middle the place i folded at this side touches the end of our cut and then i also fix it like this and sew it you can see it so because the bottom exceeds a little bit this sewing is going to sew it together also so i'm going to fold this bottom like this to give me a sharp edge you can see gives me a sharp edge or i can just fold it okay what i did this i just folded it first time like this and second time like this to give me a sharp edge so that is it or if i like i can just fold it and get to give me a, a box a four cornered edge but i like it this way okay so i'll just stop here stop here and then come this way if i like i can leave the flap like that so I'll cut off all my threads. Then I'll continue sewing from here. However, if I like, I can just leave my flap that way. So there's a little space I left. I'll just come back and I'll stitch it. Come back and I'll stitch it as well. So that's it. So this is how I'll do it. I'll just come and I'll stitch it like this. Like this. And then I'll also do it this way, reinforce, and I'll cut all my threads to make sure everything is neat. So this is how to fix a flap, a neat flap. You can see the outside is neat, very neat, and you can see how the inside is. The inside is also neat as well. You can see it created some sort of a triangle. You can see how neat it is, guys. All right. So this is how it is, guys. So the next thing is I'm just going to weave this um, shoulder and I'll join it to the front, which is actually a very easy thing. So we need to show you the process. So I just joined the shoulders, weaved everywhere. And then the next thing is I just fix my sleeves and join the sides. And that is all. It's quite easy. So like I said, what I'm focusing on this particular video is how to fix your flap and how to fix a turtle neck or a bishop colored neck so like i've done like i said i've done i fixed my shoulders i fixed my sleeve i've sewn the sides so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to fix a collar to this a bishop collar actually so what i'll do first for the collar, i'm going to measure around so when you're measuring like this make sure that you are putting the cloth you're measuring over something make sure it's sitting on something so that make sure it's not dangling if not the stress is going to um can make this the the, the the neck slack and then to increase the size of the neck so just put it to sit like sit it on something while you are measuring it like you see me doing now is on my table and i'm measuring it so i've got in 18 inches okay so this is my collar gum this is what i'll use to cut my collar okay and it's on fold as you can see i'm using the soft collar the same color I use for the flap so that the flap, both the flap 
and the color will be the same texture. So first thing first, I drew a straight line and then I divided my 18, which is the size of the color into two, since my color gum is folded into two. So from the three inches, that's where I'm going to create a curve like this. You can see it. The curve shouldn't be so much. I'm just going to create a curve like this. You can see and just mark it this way. I'm going to extend that line that I marked like this. And then I'll mark the size of the color. For me, I want my color to be one inch. I don't want it to be too fat. So one inch is just perfect for me. So this is it. I'll just go ahead and cut it out. And this is what you have. So if I like, I can leave it four cornered like this. If I like, I can just cut out to give me nice curve. And there you go. So let's see how our color looks. So this is how to cut a bishop color. If you've having, if you've been having troubles with it, this is how to cut it. You can see how perfect it is. See how circled and round it is. This is how to cut a bishop color, guys. So the next thing is I'm just going to gum it over my fabric. Just gum it over my fabric, and I'll cut this side, leaving about one inch at the bottom. So I'll just use my um, iron to fold this side perfectly like this. Just fold it perfectly like this. And then I'll go to my machine. You can see I left a very big space at the top. It's deliberate. So I'll just fold it this way. And the next thing I'll do, I'm just going to sew this side like this. I'm going to sew about half inch or 0.4, not up to half inch. Just going to sew it around like this to hold down the part we iron down with our iron the part we press with our iron i mean so i'm just going to cut out the excess thread and this is what we have guys this is what we have so i fold it this way leaving about half inch at the top you can see i fold it this way leaving about half or one inch at the top depending on the space you have then i'm just going to sew it this way to have to have my face in when you are sewing don't sew it too close to the collar go make sure you leave about 0 0.1 inch around it if it's too close it's not going to when you are turning it's not going to be perfect so you are going to leave half, half inch sorry 0.1 inch around and when you are trimming it also leave maybe 0.2 inch around it so the next thing is i'll just turn it like this you can see guys it's quite easy I'll turn it and I'll sew round just at the tip. That's if you like. If you like, you can just go to your table and iron it properly. But for me, I just like to sew it around the tip. It looks more neater and beautiful that way. So this is it. I'll just cut out my excess threads. Cut out my excess threads. And cut. When I'm trimming it, I'm going to trim and leave about um one quarter inch which is my uh, seaming allowance when i'm fixing it to the um neck or to ear yeah, to the neck this is what i'll use to sew it so the, you can see my color you can see how perfect it is guys so the next thing is i'm just going to start fixing my color now i'm going to fix it starting from the smaller part of my flap from the inside like this so that by the time I sew it, it's going to come out like this, okay? So I'm just going to start fixing it like this from here. You're going to start fixing it from here like this. So as you are sewing it, make sure you, you are sewing it like very, very close to the main collar. You can see very, very close, but you shouldn't sew on it. You are, you are, what you are sewing is only the sewing allowance. You can see it's so close to the collar that it seems as if I'm sewing over the collar, but no. What I'm sewing is only the sewing allowance. You can see, as you are sewing, you'll be checking if it's going to be enough. And of course, we measured it's going to be enough. Okay. So that's it. Trim off your threads. So the next thing is, you know, we sew it through the inside. Then we'll turn it out and then we'll push it inside like this. And this time around, we're going to sew over it, over the main collar like this. As you are sewing in, make sure the thread you sewed initially is not showing. Okay. I see it, guys. 
That's how clean it is. So this is how to fix a bishop collar. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you get you get um, value from this channel. Please subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.